praise and love, beloved. Glory to bless you for coming on. This is Manifestations of Judah Ministries International. I'm your host, Prophet Esma, I'm Juliana. God, which is blessed for coming on. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. We are here with the word of God, a word in season, a word which will be a blessing to you. The word of God is instructions of life. And when you and I, we have the word of God, we shall be strengthened. We shall know what to do when we don't know what to do. Praise the Lord. You need the word of God. The word of God is the wisdom of God. You and I, we need that word of God, especially in these times, the end time that you and I, we are in. Praise the Lord. You need the word of God to guide you. You need the word of God to be well informed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you and I, we are well informed, we make good decisions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are held to the word of God. We walk by the word of God. For the word of God is the only thing that you and I will need. Especially this end time. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We've got a word of God for you. As I said, we have a message for you. Part three. The sound of the trumpet. Praise the Lord. Coming your way this very afternoon. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let me know whether you can hear me. You can see me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How is the sound? Let me know. Yes, comment on it. You can comment on it. Praise the Lord. You can comment on it and I'll see your comment. Let us know how we are doing. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. So let's go straight to the point. Father, we thank you for this very, very afternoon. We thank you for such an honor. Father, to know your word, for your word is powerful, your word is a light unto our heart, and a light unto our feet. Father, let your word speak to us. Let your word be edifying to us. Let your word transform us. Let your word encourage us. Let your word, Lord, equip us this very afternoon. Let the power of the cross speak for us. Let the word of the enemy the plans of the enemy, satanic tactics and devices be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let clarity, let clarity, Lord, be unto your children this very afternoon. Let the blood speak for all of us this very afternoon. In Jesus' mighty precious name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Go straight to the word of God. Hallelujah. We are preaching the sound of the trumpet. Part three. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Part three. Taking the scripture from Matthew chapter 24. We are reading from 30 to 31. Praise the Lord. The Bible said, Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. And then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other praise the lord so jesus is coming for his elect jesus is coming for the righteous jesus is coming for those who are ready those who are dressed in preparation for him you and i the question that we, we, we should be asking ourselves is whether we are ready. Are we ready for the master? Are we prepared? Praise the Lord. Are we prepared? Are we ready? Praise the Lord. Are we making every opportunity? Praise the Lord. To lay hold upon him. Are we ready? Praise the Lord. Are we walking in his word? Are we walking in the light? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 4 and 5. The scripture says, And Jesus said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. Praise the Lord. Deception in the last days. 
Praise the Lord. Will, will, will be the cops. People will, will receive others. False prophets, false teachers. Praise the Lord. False Christ. They will all arise to deceive you and I. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us that we should take heed. That no one deceives us. Praise the Lord. The scriptures say, take heed. That no one deceives you. The, the scripture wants you and I. That we should be very careful. We should be alert. We should be aware. Well informed that these things will happen. False prophets will arise. False teachers will arise. False Christ will arise. You and I, we must be aware of this. That we are not deceived. Praise the Lord. When you and I, we read Matthew chapter 24. Verse 30 to 31, the Bible tells us that you and I will see Jesus in the clouds. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We will see Jesus in the clouds. The Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with great power. Praise the Lord. With power and great glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So Jesus will come in the clouds. The Bible says, Oh, I shall see him. Praise the Lord. And so you and I, we have to be well informed. Praise the Lord. That these things will happen. Deception will happen. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 3. The Bible says in the last days, perilous time will, will come. Trouble time will come. Uncertain time will come. All sorts of things will come in the last days. Praise the Lord. The scripture tells us, 2 Timothy chapter 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4. It goes on to 1 you and I verse 3. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse, verse chapter 4 verse 3. The Bible says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own eighty years. Praise the Lord. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have eighty years, they will give up for themselves teachers. And they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. Praise the Lord. So the time will come. We are in the last days. The scripture says many will deviate from the truth. Many will follow deception. Many will be moved by the fleshly desires. Praise the Lord. Many will be moved by the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 2, 15, 16, 17, that you and I, we shouldn't love the world and the things which are in the world. Praise the Lord. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, 16, 17. Praise the Lord. The scripture says, Do not love the world or the things in the world. For if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Praise the Lord. He goes on to tell you and I, and the world is passing away, and the lust of it. Praise the Lord. But he who does the will of God abides forever and ever. Beloved, praise the Lord. You and now we have to be aware of false prophets, aware of false teachers, aware of false Christ. We have to be aware of deception in the last days. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us many are on the increase. Wickedness are on the increase because of false prophets, false teachers. They are not of God. They are pretending to be of, of holy. They are pretending to be of light. They are pretending to be Christians. They are pretending to be people of God. Praise the Lord. The scripture tells us in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5. The Bible says they have a form of godliness, but they, they deny it our. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So right now we have to be aware of deception in this last days. We have to be aware of the trickery of satanic tactics, devices. John 10, 10. Jesus mentioned to us, I come to give you life and to give it more abundantly, but the thief cometh not, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us 
the Bible tells us in the book of um, Matthew 24, verse 11, the Bible says that many false prophets will arise up and deceive many. Many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. Praise the Lord. Matthew 24, verse 12, the Bible says, because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the time that you and I, we must depend on God. The Bible says, the love of many will grow cold. You and I, we have to have the word of God. The word of God is instructions of life. The word of God must be our power. The word of God must be a light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet. Praise the Lord. We are in that time. The scripture tells us in Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, let the word of God richly dwell in you. Praise the Lord. Colossians chapter 2, verse 7, the Bible tells us, be rooted and build up in the word. Be rooted and build up in the word of God. Praise the Lord. You and I, we must be rooted and build up in the word of God. Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. Be rooted and build up in the word of God. We need the word of God. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, how can a young man keep his way pure? How can a young man keep his way clear? How can a young man keep his path clear? But he did to the word of God. Psalm 119 verse 9. Praise the Lord. We need the word of God in this end time. You need to hold on to the word of God. As the days approach, the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, praise the Lord, 23, 24, 25, as the days are approaching, we have to hold on to the word of God, for the enemy is at war with you and I, the enemy is seeking to, to deceive you and I, praise the Lord, the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 7, 15, 16, the Bible says, beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly, they are reverend wolves. You shall know them by their fruit. Praise the Lord. The Bible says you shall know them by their fruit. First prophet had existed in the past. The Bible says many shall arise. Beware of false prophets which come to you. Praise the Lord. They are already in existence. Praise the Lord. During the time of Christ. Praise the Lord. The days of the apostles. False prophets were still there. Paul's false Christ was still there. Praise the Lord. The Bible talks about the book of Acts. Praise the Lord. We see the book of Acts. The book of Acts chapter 8 verse 9 to 20. Simon the sorcerer. Praise the Lord. He was there during the times of the apostles, the disciples, praise the Lord, first Christ was still there. The Bible says they will come in the increase. Praise the Lord. Many will arise. So if they will come. Many will arise. Yes, first Christ, first prophet. They were there during Christ. You know, when Jesus was here on the earth, praise the Lord. First Christ was still there. But we talk about by, by Jonas, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about, you know, by Jesus, praise the Lord. People who had similar name as Jesus, but they, they were not the Christ. Praise the Lord. So you and now we have to be aware. Praise the Lord. The many are on the increase. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Many are on the increase. First prophet, Simon the sorcerer, the book of Acts chapter 8, 9 to 20, it talks about Simon the sorcerer, the first prophet, praise the Lord, who deceived many, praise the Lord, who, who and, 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 and chants the people, praise the Lord. The Bible says uh, he did so many things to deceive the people. Hallelujah. If we can quickly stretch our Bible there right now, the book of Acts chapter the book of Acts chapter 8, praise the Lord. The scripture tells us about Simon the sorcerer. Acts chapter 8. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 8, we are reading from 9 to, to, to 20. Praise the Lord, but I'll cut it short. The Bible says, in verse 9, Acts chapter 8, verse 9, but there was a certain man called Simon who previously practiced sorcery in the city and has taunted the people of Samaria, claiming that he was someone great. 
to whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great power of God. And they hated him because he had astonished them with his sorceries for a long time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, beloved, the enemy is at work. False prophets, false teachers, false Christ. Praise the Lord. Deception in the last days. It is happening. She went out without to be aware of it. The Bible said, Be aware of false prophets. Matthew chapter 7, 15 to 16. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are reverend wolves. You shall know them by their fruit. Praise the Lord. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1. The Bible said, Now there were also false prophets among the people. Just as they, they will be false teachers among you, they will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the master who brought them. Praise the Lord. Beloved, now is the time that you and I, we must have the word of God, as I'm saying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For Jesus is coming again soon. Jesus is coming again like a thief. The Bible says he will come again like a thief. You and I, are we ready for him? Are we prepared for him? Are we ready for the master? Are we dressed in preparation? Praise the Lord. Jesus is coming again. Are we ready? Are we prepared to meet him? Jesus is coming again. Are we ready? Are we prepared? With direction, are we on? With direction, are we heading on? Where are we on? Are we on the narrow road or the broader road? Where are we heading to? For Jesus is coming again. Beloved, Jesus is coming again. Are we on the right path? Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. The scripture talks about the narrow road and the broader road. Where are we at? You and I, we have to examine ourselves. Where are we positioned? Which church are you at? Praise the Lord. Who is your pastor? Who is your man of God? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about the false prophets. That they will arise. False teachers. False Christ. Praise the Lord. We must be aware of them. The Bible says we must be aware of them. The Bible talks about the book of Ezekiel chapter 30. The scripture says that the prophet of God said to the prophet, prophesy against the false prophet. Prophesy against them. Which means you and I, we must be against them. Praise the Lord. We must be against them. We must be against false prophets. We must be against false teaching. We must know them. The Bible says we must know them. Praise the Lord. We should test all spirits. Praise the Lord. And we must know which one is from the Lord. Which one is not of the Lord. Praise the Lord. We must know which one is of the Lord and which one is not of the Lord. We must know them. Praise the Lord. If you are truly a child of God, you must walk by the word of God. Praise the Lord. You must be hearing salvation messages wherever you are. Beloved, wherever that you are, which church are you at? Praise the Lord. Who is your man of God? Hallelujah. Where is your man of God? What are you hearing there? Praise the Lord. The Bible says, come out of them and be ye separated. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us the book of Second, the book of Second Corinthians, praise the Lord. Chapter 6, 17. The Bible says, come out of them and be ye separated. Come out of them and be ye separated. Come out of them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are in a church. You are not hearing the word of God. The word of God is not feeding your spirit. It's not feeding you. Praise the Lord. It's not causing you to grow. You and I, we must be running away from such places. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that some of them, they will come, praise the Lord, in sheep clothing. But inwardly, they are reverend wolves. Praise the Lord. They are, they have the glory God. Praise the Lord. They, they, they speak like a man of God. The Bible tells us that they, they will deceive many. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
they are sheep in the Bible says they are they are they are wolves in sheep clothing. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are reverend wolves. Praise the Lord, they are not of God. You are in a church, you are not hearing Jesus is coming again. You are in a church, you are not hearing righteousness, holiness. You are in a church, beloved, you are not hearing repentance. You are in a church, you are not hearing, praise the Lord, cleanliness. Praise the Lord, you are not hearing the words of the flesh. You are not hearing, beloved, you are not hearing worldliness. Praise the Lord, they are not teaching you what worldliness is about. They are not teaching you the works of the flesh. They are not teaching you to depend on God. They are not teaching you to hold on to God. They are not teaching you about heaven and hell. Beloved, you have to know you are in the wrong church. You are in the wrong church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us, as I read before, I will go back to it again. Um, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. Praise the Lord. As I read, I did mention to you, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They will preach words which are of each years to you and I. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That if you and I, we are not careful, we will deviate from, from the truth. Praise the Lord. 2 Timothy chapter chapter 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. The Bible says, For the time will come when they will not endure some doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they will have they have each years, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their years away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. Beloved, we are in that time. You have to hold on to the word of God. The word of God is instructions of life. The word of God is what you and I will need. Praise the Lord. We need the word of God. You cannot do without the word of God. In this time, praise the Lord, hallelujah, you have to be very, very aware of them. The Bible says they have, praise the Lord, they have the form of godliness, but they, they deny its power, they lack its power. Praise the Lord, false prophet, they are not of God, they have another skin, they have another, praise the Lord, power that they use, it's not of God, praise the Lord. So they will not teach you the right word. They will not speak the right word of God to you. Beloved, you are in a place, praise the Lord. If you are going there because of the multitude, you are going there because of the prophetic, you know, prophetic, prophetic. Most people go to church because they want to hear somebody's story, praise the Lord. They are there to hear about what went on. They are there to hear about, you know, prophecy, praise the Lord. 18 years, they are not there to grow. They are not there to to, to learn for themselves. They are not there to, to learn and, and to hold on to the word of God. But praise the Lord. Beloved, if you are in such a place, you are in the wrong place. Praise the Lord. Don't go to church because of the multitude. Don't go to church because of, 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 of flamboyant. Praise the Lord. The Bible talks about, you know, extravagance. Praise the Lord. That you see, you know, men and women of God, beloved, dressed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In such a manner that is worldly. You have to be aware of them. Extravagancy. Praise the Lord. It's the core of the day. People are dressed like the world. Praise the Lord. Some of the men of God, they are chains. They, 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 they are their shoes. Praise the Lord. Everything about that is worldly. Beloved, be aware. Praise the Lord. Christianity is not about clothing. Christianity is not about being flamboyant. Yes, the blessings of the Lord will come upon you and I when we truly hold on to the word of God. Yes, God blesses his people. But the Bible says you shall know them by their fruit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Most of us, we are in, a, we are, we are in churches whereby, you know, satanic priests have become the priests of the Lord. Praise the Lord. You, you are in a church whereby to two men, men who practice, you know, occult, men who praise the Lord, are not of God, praise the Lord, uh, satanic priests, they are now in the churches. It is happening. Beloved, it is a serious matter. Jesus is coming again. Don't be unwise. The Bible says, don't be unwise. Don't be foolish. Praise the Lord. Where are you heading on? 
Who are you hearing? Praise the Lord. Who is your man of God? For your man of God can lead you to hell. Praise the Lord. The coffin that you are in, wherever you are, you are at a coffin. You are under a coffin. Praise the Lord. Whoever that you are, when you go to a church, you are under a coffin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And some of these churches, they don't have the right covering. They don't have the covering of God. You need the covering of God. Praise the Lord. If you are in the right place, whereby it's enticing, whereby it is lastly, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about the works of the flesh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Selfish ambition. The last of the flesh, the last of the eyes, the pride of life. First John chapter 2, verse 15, 16. The Bible says, It is not of God. It is not of God. Jesus is coming against you. Where are you at? Where is your man of God? What church do you go to? Who are you listening to? Beloved, be aware of. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that by their fruit you shall know them. You and I, God has given us the suffering world. Praise the Lord. The suffering world for you and I to make the right decision. The Bible says, come out of them. Be ye separated. The scripture tells us we should examine our ways. We must examine our way to see whether we are in the truth or not. We must examine our ways. Are we really walking in the integrity of the word of God? Are we disciplined? The scripture says we must be disciplined. Are you disciplined? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have you examined yourself? Are you lying to yourself? Are you living in deception? Most of us, we are living in deception. We are going to church because, you know, there is crowd. Praise the Lord. People are going there, so we have to be there. We are going to church because of dressing. We have to go and show our dressing to others. Praise the Lord. We are going to church because, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the man of God looks nice. The woman of God looks nice. They have the best cars. They have the best building. That is why you are going to church. We love it. The Bible said heaven and earth shall pass away. But the, the word of God will never pass away. You and now we must take it. Where are we on? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that heaven and earth shall pass away. Praise the Lord. The clothing that we wear, it will not take us to heaven. The shoes that we have, it will not take us to heaven. The church bodies will not take us to heaven. It is the word of God that will take you and I to heaven. It is about your obedience to the word of God. Praise the Lord. The book of John tells you and I, praise the Lord, that we must hold on to the word of God. If we don't have the word of God, you and I, we cannot be children of God. John chapter 15, Jesus speaking, 4 and 5, he says, Abide in me and I in you. Praise the Lord. For I am the true vine. I am the true vine. Praise the Lord. You and I, we must be connected to the true vine. The true vine is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We need Jesus. We don't need the church building. We don't need material things. Praise the Lord. We don't go to church because of materialistic. Materialism. Praise the Lord. We don't go to church because of worldliness. Praise the Lord. We don't go to church because of how beautiful the church building is. We love each other eternity. It's about you and I making it to heaven. Praise the Lord. The Bible talks about Hebrews chapter 9, 27. It is appointed for a man to live and die. And after there is a judgment. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, that we must all appear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Appear. Praise God before the judgment seat of Christ. We must all of us, we must be judged. We must make an account of our lives, our deeds on this earth. Where are we standing? Where are we heading on? Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us about evil workers. False prophets, they are evil workers. Praise the Lord. False teachers, they are evil workers. Praise the Lord. We must take note of them. We must be well informed. We must hold on to the word of God that they are there to cause you and I to err. They are there to cause you and I to stumble. They are there to cause you and I to deviate from the power of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about Matthew chapter 7 verse 13. 
the narrow road and the broader road. Praise the Lord. The narrow road, few are on it to eternal life. The broader road, the Bible says many are on it. Praise the Lord. The road to destruction, the broader road, many are on it. They are heading to doomness. They are heading to destruction. They are heading to eternal fire. They are heading to hell. Beloved, where are you? Praise the Lord. Had I known it's always at last. We are in that time. The Bible says we must die to self. We must die to self. Have we died to self? Have we died to self? Praise the Lord. Have we taken up our cross and following Jesus? Jesus speaking in his words says, take up your cross and follow me. Praise the Lord. We must take up our cross and follow Jesus. We must take up our cross. We must die to self. Galatians chapter when we turn our Bible to Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, we see Paul the Apostle speaking. Praise the Lord. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. He says, I am crucified with Christ. Praise the Lord. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I want us to read. He says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live, in the flesh I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself to me. Beloved, you must be crucified with Christ. You must die to self. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about you and I dying to self. Praise the Lord. You and I holding on to Jesus. Praise the Lord. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2. Paul the apostle speaking. It says, For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And Him crucified. I resolved to know nothing whilst I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Your mindset must be about Jesus and Him crucified. Praise the Lord. The Bible talks about Galatians chapter 6 14. It says, But as for me, May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. Praise the Lord. Beloved, which part are you on? The sound of the trumpet. The sound is about to sound. Jesus is coming again. Jesus is coming again. Jesus is coming again. The Bible says, All I shall see him. All I shall see him. He's coming for his elect. He's coming for the righteous. Where are you at? Which direction are you on? Praise the Lord. Have you been deceived? Have you been gullible? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have you been deceived? Have you been gullible? Where are you at? Where are you at? Praise the Lord. Hold on to the word of God. You and I, we must hold on to the word of God. Especially in this end time. For the word of God is spirit. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is sharper than any two double eyes saw. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us that you and I, we must be content. We must hold on to the sure word of God. We must not look left or right. Our eyes must be gazing on to our God. Psalm 1, 2, 1. The psalm is speaking to you and I. I look up to the Lord. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord God Almighty, who made the heavens and the earth. Beloved, your eyes must be on Jesus. If you shift your eyes on any other thing, beloved, you will be deceived. You will be deceived, praise the Lord. You will be deceived. You must hold on to the word of God. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word of God, that you may grow thereby. You need the word of God. You need to hold on to the word of God that you and I, we can grow. You and I, we can move forward. We can mature. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrew chapter 5 verse 12, praise the Lord, that we can mature. Praise the Lord. That we'll be able to, to be mature. Praise the Lord. Mature Christians. We can eat solid food. Praise the Lord. Solid food does not belong to baby Christians. It belongs to mature Christians. Praise the Lord. We must hold on to the word of God, which is able to prosper us, which is able to build us up. We need the word of God. We love it. 
we are in that time. The Bible talks that this is powerful revelation. Praise the Lord. The Bible talks about the book of Matthew. The Bible says in verse 12, 38, 39. The Bible says then some of the scribes, Matthew chapter 12, 38 to 39. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. Jesus replied, A wicked and adulterous generation demands a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. Praise the Lord. You have to understand. Praise the Lord. You just have to hold on that Jesus came on this earth. Jesus came to save you and I. Galatians chapter 4 verse 5 tells you and I. Praise the Lord. Let's read quickly. That at an appointed time, Jesus came to save you and I. At an appointed time, Jesus came to redeem you and I. Galatians chapter 5. Let's read from verse 4. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter Galatians chapter 4. Praise the Lord. Let's turn our Bible. Galatians chapter 4. Yes, let's turn the Bible. Say Galatians chapter 4, verse 4 and 5. Galatians chapter 4, 4 and 5. The Bible says, But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. You have to understand that Jesus came to give you an eye life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. We need Jesus. Praise the Lord. You need the word of God. The word of God is Jesus. The Bible says the word of God is Jesus. John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was with God. Praise the Lord. What you and I need is Jesus. Praise the Lord. And Jesus has already given us the victory on the cross. He has given us the freedom on the cross. Praise the Lord. John 19, 30. The Bible says, Jesus said, it is finished. When he went on the cross, he said, it is finished. What you and I will need is obedience. What you and I will need is to hold on to the truth. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, do not let anybody deceive you. Do not let anyone deceive you. You must hold on to the word of God. Do not let anyone deceive you. Praise the Lord. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 and 9. The Bible says, Do not be carried away by all kinds of great teachings, for it is not good for you. Praise the Lord. For it is good for it is not good for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teachings. Praise the Lord. Do not be carried out. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6 says, Let no one deceive you with empty words. Praise the Lord. You need to hold on to the word of God. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14. The Bible says, We must not be tossed to and fro. Praise the Lord. As we used to, especially when you and I we are Christians, we must not be tossed to and fro. We must hold on to the word of God. Praise the Lord. You and I, we must hold on to the word of God because Jesus has given us the victory. The Bible talks about Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, and overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. We need the word of God. We need to hold on. Praise the Lord. But Jesus has given us victory. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, 10, 11. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, 9, 10, 11. 11. The name of Jesus Christ is exalted above every other name. The Bible says, At the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You have to hold on to the, to the word of God. Jesus speaking in John chapter 6, 63. The words I speak to you, they are life and they are spirit. The word of God is life. It is spirit. You and now we must hold on to the word of God. The word of God must be our two double edged sword, especially in this end time. We must not be told to and fro. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We must not be told to and fro as, as believers, as children of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 8 that the word of God will sustain you to the end. The word of God will make you blameless. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Till the day of Christ, the word of God will sustain you. The word of God will, will make you strong. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You need the word of God in this end time. You must know the word of God for yourself. The Bible says, be richly. Praise the Lord. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. Praise the Lord. We rooted and build up in the word of God. Praise the Lord. Galatians chapter 2 verse 7. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 3 verse 16. Let the word of God reach in you. Praise the Lord. Be rich. Bible says in, in, in the Galatians chapter 3 verse 16. Let the word of God richly dwell in you. Praise the Lord. Galatians chapter 2 verse 7. Be rooted and build up. In him, strengthen in the faith as you are taught. You must be rooted and build up in the word of God. You need the word of God in this end time. You need the word of God else you'll be deceived. There are many false prophets on the English. The Bible says they have a purpose. They are there to serve their bench. Praise the Lord. They are there because of money. They are there not because of your salvation. They are there to deceive you and I. They are there because of their belly. The scripture tells us, praise the Lord, I want us to turn to some of these scriptures. It will bless you, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It will bless you, praise the Lord. It will bless you. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 11, 7, 13. 2 Corinthians 11, 13. The Bible says, for such men are false prophets. They are false apostles. Deceitful workers must great in as apostles of Christ. You have to be aware of this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 3, verse 19. The Bible says, Whose end is destruction? Whose God is their belly? Their God is their belly. And whose glory is in their shame? Who mind earthly things? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you and I we must be aware of false prophets. They are there because of the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. They are there because of deception. They are there because of covetousness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They are there because of what they can get from you. They are there because they want to deceive you. They are there because they want to take from you. They are there because they want to deceive you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They are there to deceive you of your finances, physical finances, of your eternal life. Praise the Lord. They are there, beloved, to cause you and I to deviate. And many are on the increase. Many are on the increase. There are a lot of them, praise the Lord, around. Praise the Lord. For false prophets, false teachers, false Christ. Beloved, beware of them. The Bible says, beware, beware of false prophets, beware of false prophets, for they are on the increase. They are there to deceive many. They are there to make sure you and I will act. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 23, the desire of the righteous leads only to good, but the book of the wicked brings wrath. The wrath of God will be upon these false prophets. Praise the Lord. The Bible said the wrath of God will be upon them. Romans chapter 1 verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. You and I, we have to be aware of them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to be aware of them. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 18, 21. He that believeth on Jesus is not condemned. But he that believes not is condemned already, because he did not believe in the only name of our Lord Jesus. Yes, you might be in a place whereby they are proclaiming Jesus, but they are not preaching salvation. They are not preaching the way of life. They are not preaching to you about instructions of life. They are speaking to you about prosperity. And mostly they say they are preaching on faith. Praise the Lord. They are they are having a form of godliness. Praise the Lord. They are doing everything to proclaim salvation in another form, another way. Praise the Lord. To deceive you and I. Praise the Lord. So they are, they, are, they, are, they are trying to look normal. 
They are trying to look like the children of God. They are trying to look like they are from God. They are trying to look that they are apostles of God. They are trying to look that they are the true prophets of God. But they are denying its power thereof. Beloved, they are, they are, they are deceptive. Because they will not preach the true word of God to you. They repent. They will not tell you about the works of the flesh. Praise the Lord. Envyness, drunkenness, selfish ambition. Praise the Lord. Uncleanness, idolatry. The Bible tells that Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 21. Praise the Lord. They will not preach that to you. What is it? What is Galatians chapter 5, 19? Let's face it there. The Bible says Galatians chapter 5, 19. Now the works of the flesh are evidence, which are idolatry, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousy, adverse of right, selfish ambition, dissensions, heresies, envy, madness, drunkenness, rivalries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. You have to be aware. Beloved, they will not speak to you about the works of the flesh. They will not. Their messages will not be about heaven. Their messages will not be about repentance. Their messages will not be about the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The purpose why Jesus came, you must be aware of it. Beloved, be aware of it. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you and I free. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. The Bible says, We are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting against powers. We are fighting against principalities. We are fighting against greater hosts of wickedness. There is wickedness on the increase. Beloved, you must be aware of false prophet. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is a form of satanic God. Conduct satanic trickery, satanic agenda to deceive you and I. Praise the Lord. Men have given themselves to, to the devil. Men have yielded their soul to the devil for the devil to use in this end time. Praise the Lord. They are being used by satanic agents. Praise the Lord. The enemy is on the increase. The enemy is at work. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, the Bible tells us that the enemy, praise the Lord, presents himself as an angel of light just to deceive you and I. The enemy comes as an angel of light to deceive you and I. We must be aware of this. Beloved, we must be aware of it. That the enemy is pretentious. The enemy is deceptive. The en enemy poses himself as light to deceive you and I. The sound of the trumpet. Jesus is coming again. The trumpet is about to sound. Jesus is coming again. Where are you at? Where are you at? Which direction are you heading on? Who are you listening to? Which church are you listening to? Why are you going to that church? Are you there because you want to please man? Are you there because you want to to, to, to belong there because of the world, because of shoes, because of dressing, because of cars. Beloved, you are in the wrong place. The Bible says, come out of them and be separated. Why are you going to church? Are you going to church to hear the true word of God? Are you going to church to be fed by the word of God? Are you going to church because of the man of God having a car or because of the money that you get? Why are you going to church? Why are you a Christian? Why are you a child of God? Are you a child of God just because of what you can get physically? Praise the Lord. Are you a child of God because of, of what you can get now? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you a child of God because of what you can get now? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you a child of God because of the world? Praise the Lord. You want everybody to know that you have shoes. You have buildings. You have cars. Are you a child of God? Because you want to prove a point. Jesus is coming again. Jesus is coming again. 
Jesus has come again. This is not a message that people want to hear. It is a reality. Heaven is a reality. Hell is a reality. Jesus is coming again. Whether you like it or not, Jesus is coming again. You can choose to listen to it or not. Jesus is coming again. You are hearing the word of God from different avenues. The word of God is coming to you now. Praise the Lord. It's not what you want to hear. Because you want to hear signs and wonders. And Jesus mentions the only sign that will be given to you. Praise the Lord. It's the sign of the cross. It's the sign of who he is. That he came to die for you and I. That he came to give us life and to give it more abundantly. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 6. The carnal mind is an enemy to God. The mind of the flesh is an enemy of God. Praise the Lord. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. James chapter 4 verse 4. The Bible says he who loves the world is an enemy of cross. Of the cross is an enemy of God. Where are you at? Jesus is coming again. Jesus is coming again. Are you ready? Are you prepared? He is coming again. He is coming for the righteous. Now is the time. Beloved, you must die to self. Now is the time. You must seek your salvation with fear and trembling. The other day, Paul the Apostle speaking in Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. Praise the Lord. He said to you and I, that I might know him and the power of of his resurrection praise the lord and i might know him and the power of his resurrection do you know jesus do you press on to know jesus praise the lord i read philippians chapter 3 verse 10 the bible said that i may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being conformed to his death beloved you must press on to know jesus you must have a relationship with Jesus in this time. Praise the Lord. The book of Matthew chapter 11, 28, 29. Jesus speaking to you and I. Come unto me, all ye who are of heavy lady, and I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Praise the Lord. Come unto me, all ye who are of heavy lady, and I will give you rest. Praise the Lord. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Beloved, you must have a relationship with Jesus. You must have a communication with Jesus. You must align yourself with God. In this end time, you must know God for yourself. You must have a relationship for God. For if you don't have God, beloved, you have emptiness. If you don't have God, you'll be tossed to and fro. If you don't have God, you'll be confused. If you don't have God, when you hear of this prophet, you'll be going there. When you hear of this man, you'll be going there. We love that you'll be tossed to and fro. That is why you must have a relationship with God. This end time is not a joke. It is a reality. The devil is at work. Praise the Lord. The word of God is true. You must hold on to the word of God. If you don't have the truth, you cannot build. You cannot build. The Bible says we must build on the rock. Book of Matthew chapter 7, 24, 25. The Bible says we must build on the right foundation. The right foundation is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you don't have the right foundation, beloved, you will be gullible. You will be pushed aside. Praise the Lord. The wind will blow you away. If you don't have the right foundation, if you don't have Jesus Christ for yourself, if you don't know him, beloved, you'll be told to and fro. You'll be deceived. You need Jesus in this end time. You need Jesus. The sound of the trumpet. Jesus is coming again. Beware of false prophets. Beware of false teachers. Beware of false Christ. They are on the increase. They are corrupting themselves, masquerading themselves as apostles of Christ. They are not of God. It is on the increase. Know Jesus for yourself. Hold on to the word of God. Examine yourself. Know where you are at. No! No! The Bible says we must test our spirit. When you are at place, you are not hearing about the kingdom of God. You are not hearing about salvation. 
You are not hearing about repentance. You are not hearing about the blood of Jesus. You are not, not hearing about the purpose of Christ. You are not hearing about the victory that you have in Jesus. Know that you are in the wrong place. If it's all about giving, it's all about sowing seed, it is all about oil, it is all about prophecy. Beloved, the Bible says prophecy will pass away, but the word of God was done. The word of God will never pass away. We are in that time. Beloved, you, you must be vigilant. The Bible says you must be wise. You must be wise. Don't be foolish. The Bible says don't be foolish. You must be wise. When you are at place, you have to examine where you are. Praise the Lord. The Bible talks about lust. Praise the Lord. First John chapter 2. Verse 15, 16, 17. Do not love the world and the things which are in the world. For the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, the lust of the flesh. It is not of God. When you are in a place whereby it is fleshly, whereby it is cunning, whereby it is only about today, it is only about the now, 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 now. Know that you are in the wrong place. Know that you are in the wrong place. Praise the Lord. You have to be somewhere, a place whereby you hold on to the word of God. A place whereby you can stand and defend yourself by the word of God. You can stand and fight with the word of God. You can stand and move forward with the word of God. That you can work with the word of God. You can stand on the word of God. You need the light. And Jesus is the light of this world. Praise the Lord. If you don't have Jesus, beloved, you'll be tossed to and fro. Jesus is coming again. The sound of the trumpet. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you standing? Praise the Lord. The Bible says Christ in you is the hope of glory. Christ in you is the hope of glory. We are in that time. Galatians chapter 1, 26, 27 says Christ in you is the hope of glory. The book of Acts chapter 26 says, praise the Lord, the purpose of Jesus coming is to open you and our eyes. Our eyes, praise the Lord, that we have freedom, that with Him we can conquer, with Him we can stand, praise the Lord, that He is our armor, Jesus is the armor, He is our armor, praise the Lord, the Bible says the sword and the spirit is the word of God, you need the word of God, Ephesians chapter 6, 17, the sword of the spirit is the word of God, you need the word of God in this time, Jesus is coming, have you died to self, are you crucified with Jesus? Praise the Lord. What are you hearing? Praise the Lord. I shall mention to you, First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2, Paul the Apostle speaking, I came to you and I did not want to know anything except Jesus and Him crucified. Where are you at? What are you hearing? Jesus is coming again. Beware of false prophets. Beware of these prophetic churches. Beware of these tokens and signs and wonders. Praise the Lord. Yet the Bible talks about God blessing His children in this end time. The power of God will be evidence. When you have the true spirit of God, it is evidence. If you have the true spirit of God, when you see a man of God with the true spirit of God, beloved, he is simple. He does not demand anything. You see the word of God coming into manifestation. You see the power of God at work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Straight away. Yes, the power of God be at work straight away. Praise the Lord. If you are dealing with the right man of God, the power of God will be evidence. Nobody will tell you that this one, this one is gimmick. Praise the Lord. And there are a lot of gimmicks in, in the scene. There's a lot of false prophets. Praise the Lord. Deception is on the increase. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They prophesy only to know that they have power. They prophesy for their own selfish ambition. They prophesy only to make themselves great. They prophesy to prove a point that I can see more, I can do. They are Lord of God. We love and be aware of false prophets. They are on the increase. Praise the Lord. Some of them are intentionally preaching words of faith. Some of them are preaching prosperity messages. Some of them are, are trying to, 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 to seal their, their messages with Christ. It is deception. Praise the Lord. They are not of God. False prophet, they are on the increase. Beloved, they are on the increase. You and I, we must, we must, we must be aware of it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We must be aware of it. We must be aware of it, else we shall be deceived. Jesus is coming against you. Jesus is coming against you. 
He is coming again. He's coming for the elect. He's coming for the righteous. The sound of the trumpet. The book of Matthew chapter 24. The Bible says the sound of the trumpet. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The sound of the trumpet is about to sound. Where are you at? Where are you at? Which direction are you on? Where have you taken? Praise. Praise the Lord. Where are you at? Where are you standing? Praise the Lord. Which direction are you on? Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Mark, Mark chapter 13, 33, 37. Take it. Keep on the alert. For you do not know when the appointed time will come. It is like a man on a journey who upon leaving his house and putting his slaves in charge, assigning to each one his tax, also commanded the doorkeeper to stay on the alert. Therefore, be on the alert, for you do not know when the master of the house is coming, whether in the evening, at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or in the morning. Beloved, Jesus is coming again. Jesus is coming again. You and I, we must be alert. You and I, we must be ready. You and I, we must be prepared. Are we ready? Are we prepared? Jesus is coming against you. Beloved, you must be ready. You must be ready. The Bible says in 5 John chapter 2, 28, it says, continue in him so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 7, 15. The scripture says, watch out for false prophets. Watch out for they come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are furious wolves. You have to be aware. Jesus is coming against you. Beloved, he's coming against you. Where are you at? Where are you standing? Jesus is coming against you. The Bible says he's coming against you. Where are you at? Are you ready for the master? Are you ready for the master? Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 16, 25. Paul the Apostle speaking. He says, Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began. Jesus is able to sustain you. The word of God will sustain you. You don't need any false prophet. Praise the Lord. Acts chapter 20, 32. The Bible says, I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all who are sanctified. You must be sanctified. You must be holy. You must be righteous. For God is righteous. The Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter, Psalm chapter 20, praise the Lord. Psalm chapter 20, verse 4. That God will give you the desires of your heart. The Lord will give you the desires of your heart. When you and I, we are truly children of God, He will give us the desires of our heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 1, verse 3. The Bible says, And you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does, he shall prosper. When you and I, we truly hold on to God. The Bible says, whatever that we do, we shall prosper. Praise the Lord. We shall be like a tree planted by the sea waters. It is God that God can cause us to be victorious. It is God that can cause us to be prosperous. It is God that can make a way where there is sheep to be known. It is God that can provide for us. The Bible says, every good and perfect gift is from above, is from the Father of light. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The book of James chapter 1 speaks to you and I that every good and perfect gift comes from God. So you and I, our eyes must be upon God. And when we are, our eyes are upon God, God will provide for us. God will make a way where there seem to be no way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You have to understand that God will be our provision. God has come to give us life and to give it more abundantly. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. The scriptures, the plan I have for you 
they are good, not evil, to bring you to an expected end. You must hold on to the word of God. Quit following false prophets. Quit following prophetic. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. False prophet. Praise the Lord. 18 years. Quit following. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The fleshly desires. Hallelujah. Die to self. Be crucified to Christ. Don't go to church because you want to hear prophecies. Go to church because it's the right place for you to be. Go to the, the church. Praise the Lord. Because you are going to hear the word of God. You are going to receive instructions of life. Because it will impact your life. That is why you and I we should go to church. We must go to church. Bible says in the book of John, chapter 4, 23, 24. We must worship God in spirit and in truth. Praise the Lord. We must worship God in spirit and truth. Praise the Lord. God is real. The spirit of the Lord is present. When you and I, we worship Him in truth and in spirit. Hallelujah. When we open up our heart, we see, we will feel the spirit of the Lord. We have encounter with the truth. We have encounter with God. Praise the Lord. There shall be answers. There shall be performance. Praise the Lord. We need God. We don't need man. The Bible says, Christ is the one who put his trust in another person, another man. Praise the Lord. Your, your trust, your, your heart must be upon God. Proverbs chapter 3, Proverbs chapter 3, 5 and 6. Praise the Lord. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your heart. In all your ways acknowledge God. In all your way, don't trust in man. Praise the Lord. Yes, God will bring the right person to, 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 to support you. God works through man. Yes, it is true. But you have to understand that your trust must be in God alone. Praise the Lord. It is, the, it is God that will cause someone to love you. It is God that will cause someone to bless you. Yes, it is God. Praise the Lord. But ultimately, your trust must be in God. You must trust in God. Do not lean on your own understanding. The sound of the trumpet. Jesus is coming again. I want us to read Matthew chapter 24 again. Verse 30 to 31. The Bible said, Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Jesus is coming again as you wait. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you dressed for him? Are you prepared? Are you dressed in preparation for the master? Will the master find you doing his good will? Will the master find you doing the right thing? Which direction are you on? Which path are you on? Which direction are you heading on? Jesus is coming again. Jesus is coming again. It is a reality. Yes, it is a reality. You can refuse to hear it. You can refuse to hear it. You can close your eyes and yes, but it is a reality. Jesus is coming again. Beloved, if you don't meet him, you meet him one way or the other. I keep saying to people, if you don't meet him, you meet him one way or the other. Praise the Lord. The Bible says it is a point of a man to live. And after, there is a judgment. You have to understand Man being a mortal being, you cannot live forever and evermore. Your soul, your soul as an owner, mouse every soul that sin shall die. Every soul that sin shall die. Had I known it's always at last. Praise the Lord. You have to know God. You have to examine yourself. You have to be disciplined. You have to mature. You have to seek to mature. The other day, Paul the Apostle was speaking to the Galatians. Oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Who has bewitched you? Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. You and I, we must hold on to the truth. We must hold on. Don't dwell in the flesh. Don't dwell in carnality. Don't have the mind of the flesh. Have the mind of the spirit. Crucify yourself with Christ Jesus. Galatians chapter 2, 20. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Desire 
to know about salvation, desire to know about, about righteousness, holiness, desire to know his ways. Praise the Lord. And when you and I we have the truth, the Bible says the truth shall set us free. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free. Jesus is coming again. Beware of false prophets. Beware of them. They are on the increase. Most of most of them, they are our friends. Praise the Lord. My 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 Facebook is full of false prophets. Some of them, majority of them are. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But we are praying that the Lord will set them free. Praise the Lord. I am praying that as they are hearing the word of God, they will give themselves to God. For God is the only way up. He is the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14, verse 6. Beloved, hallelujah. The Bible said, do not be afraid of the one that will kill the body. Be afraid of the one that will kill the soul. Nobody can kill me. Praise the Lord. I'm not afraid to die. Hallelujah. I am not afraid to die. I'm here for one purpose, to proclaim salvation. To proclaim the word of truth that Jesus is coming again. You and I, we have to show sin. You and I, we have to align ourselves to the word of God. You and I, we have to cast our eyes upon Jesus. We have to wait upon him. We have to seek the face of God. We must give our entire being. Give your life to Jesus. Give your life down to Jesus. There's a song writer, the song we says. You know, I give my lifetime to Jesus. You must give your lifetime to Jesus. You must give your lifetime to Jesus. As you live, you have to know. Praise the Lord. The scripture says in First Peter chapter 2, 11 B, we are pilgrimage. We are foreigners. We are sojourners on this earth. We are foreigners, sojourners, pilgrimage, visitors on this earth. The Bible says, abstain from all the things that war against the soul. Abstain from all the fleshly lusts that war against the soul. Abstain from all. For the wrath of God comes upon such people. The wrath of God will come upon the disobedience. The wrath of God will come upon the sinner. The sinner that sins will die. Where are you at? False prophet. Be aware of them. They can lead you to hell. They can lead you to hell. Praise the Lord. They can lead you to hell. Beloved, it is a reality. It is the word of God. It is coming to you this morning. Whether you like it or not, it's being preached out there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Whether you like it or not, the word of God is coming to you this morning. Jesus is coming again. Don't be foolish. Don't be unwise. Praise the Lord. Examine yourself. Be wise. Where are you at? What are you hearing? Who are you listening to? This is what you must be thinking about. Which man of God are you at? Are you hearing the words of life? Repentance. Heaven and hell. Are you hearing heaven and hell? Are you hearing heaven and hell? Are you hearing righteousness, holiness? Are you hearing the words of the flesh? Are you hearing covetousness? Are you hearing holiness, righteousness? Are you hearing? Are you hearing about living for Christ. Praise the Lord. Are you hearing about living your life for Christ? Are you hearing it? If you are there because of each year, beloved, you are in the wrong place. You are in the wrong place. You are in the wrong place. Jesus is coming again. 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 Jesus is coming again.
thank God for the word of God. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank God, thank God. We give you praise. We give you adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Al Shaddai. Thank you, Adonai. Mighty God. King of kings. We worship you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Savior. Jesus, you are everything we want. Everything we desire. Jesus, you are the light of this world. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You are our bright and morning star. You are the light of the tribe of Judah. You are the way. You are. Everything that we want, everything we desire, is you, Jesus. Everything we want, everything we desire, is you, Jesus. We appreciate you, Jesus, this morning. We appreciate you for your healer. The Bible says you are wounded for our transgression. You are bruised for our iniquities. The child ties that brought you. Brother's peace was upon you. And by your stripes we are healed. We give you all the praise for you are provision. We are covering. The Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty God. We give you all the praise, Jesus. We give you all the praise, Jehovah for El Shaddai. You are covering. You are Lord Jesus. To everything we want, everything we desire. We bless your name, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We adore you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. Jesus, we thank you for loving us. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for eternal life. We thank you that you are our strength. You are our power. Power and might belongs to our God. And power belongs to us. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for salvation of souls. Thank you for eternal life. Thank you for the mind of Christ. The wisdom of God that has been given unto us. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, you are our Savior. Jesus, you are our Lord. Jesus, we worship you this hour. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for eternal life. We thank you for heaven. We thank you, Lord, for righteousness, holiness. For you are righteousness. You are our light. You are our peace. You are everything we want. Everything we desire. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise, Lord Jesus. We give you all the praise. We worship you. We love you. We thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. I want us to pray for mercy. I want you to continue to pray for mercy, beloved. Continue to pray for mercy. Continue to pray for mercy. That you and I will not lose our part. Pray, pray, pray that you and I will not lose our part. Pray that you and I will be on the narrow path. Pray that we will choose the right path. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19, I've said before you life and death. Choose life. Father, we pray that we continue to hold on to the, the truth. We continue to hold on to the light. We continue to walk on the right path. We continue to hold on to your name, Jesus. Lord, we are in that time that the enemy is at work. We are in perilous time, trouble time, or certain time. A time whereby that the enemy is parading themselves to be the light of this world. The enemy is masquerading themselves. They are pushing us the light. Lord, help us. Help us this morning. Help us this afternoon. Help us this hour. For our eyes to be focused upon you. Help us to shun carnality. Help us to shun the world. Help us to shun the works of the flesh. Help us to shun the flesh. The last of the flesh. Help us that we shall be crucified to you only, Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. We worship you, Lord Jesus. 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 Pray, 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 beloved. Don't watch me alone. I want you to open up your mouth and declare the words of life upon your life this very hour. Pray in the name of Jesus that you shall be strengthened, that you will not lose your mind. 
The Bible says that deception in the world, many false prophets shall rise, many false prophets they are the increase. The Bible says the love of many shall grow cold. They will shun the truth, they'll go for 18 years. Beloved, the Bible says, take heed that you do not fall. I want you to pray, pray, pray this hour, pray this hour that you will not fall. You will look up to Jesus every step of the way. The Bible says, be, be rooted and build up in the word of God. Pray that you hear the word of God. The Bible says, as you want men, desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may go thereby. You need the word of God to grow. You need the word of God to mature. The Bible says, the Bible says the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 6. Let the word of God dwell in your heart richly. See right now we need the word of God. No bear, no care. Hold on to the word of God which is able to save your soul. The undiluted word of God. The ungrained. The Bible says the, the, the word of God which is able to, to save your soul. The Bible says the great word of God. We must hold on to the truth. We must hold on to it. What is able to save our soul. Hold on to the word of God this hour. I want you to pray. Pray that the Lord will strengthen you. Pray this hour. Pray this hour. Pray that you will not walk in carnality. You will not dwell in the world. Your eyes will be on Jesus. Your mind will be the mind of Christ. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. As it was in Christ Jesus. Let the mind of Christ be in you. If you look left, right, beloved, you defeat, you be carnal, you will desire the flesh, you will desire the world. For the world is cannot satisfy us. The world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. The mountain is not of the Father, it is of the world. The world is passing away. The lust of it, thereof. He who abides in the word of God, the Bible says he shall be saved. Lord, we pray. Strengthen us in this time. Let our eyes be upon you. 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 Let us not us upon the truth. Let us not walk in carnality. Let us not not work because of the flesh we desire. Not because of what we can get. Not because of the clothes that we can wear. Not because of the cars that we can drive. Not because of the dresses that we can dress. Lord, let our eyes be upon you. Especially in this end time, whereby Jesus is coming against you. Whereby you and now we do not know the time and the hour that you will come. For Jesus will come like a chief. Jesus will come like a chief. Lord, we pray. Strengthen us. Strengthen your people this hour. Strengthen your people this hour. God starts to walk in the truth. God starts to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God starts to hold on to the word of God. Oh, God starts to hold on to the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. God starts to hold on to the word of God, which is stronger than any two double I saw, sharper than any two double I saw. God starts to put on the full armor of Christ, to put on the what we say, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth. Yes, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, the shield of faith. Lord, we pray this very hour that we put on the witness of the gospel. We put on the belt of truth. We put on the sword of the spirit. We put on the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation. We'll be our portion in this very hour. We hold on to you every step of the way. No bed, no care. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we pray. The word says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, and overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. We overcome every satanic trickery, every satanic deception, every demonic element we come against them by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against demonic agendas. We come against deception. We come against evil forces. The Bible says, watch and pray, watch and pray, watch and pray. You soberly minded. Yes, Lord, we are watching. We are praying against deception. We are praying against evil workers. We are praying against false prophets, false teachers, false Christ. Lord, it shall be done. 
In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, let the power of the blood, Revelation 12, the blood. We the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 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 In the east, north, south, west, this very day. We the blood of Jesus Christ. In the east, north, south, west. We the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Over the four winds of the earth. Over the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray the blood of Jesus over Mary Kingdom. What a spirit. Evil altars, evil swine, evil powers. We come against the safety. We come against sorcery. We come against ambushes. We come against demonic purpose. And I turn that this very up by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ of Israel. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, 9, 10, 11. The name of Jesus Christ is exalted above every other day. At the mention of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The things in the sea, the things on the earth, the things in the heavens. Oh, yes, Lord, they shall be subjected to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's no power higher than our God. There's no power higher. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you all the praise. We thank you for the power of the blood of Jesus. We thank you for strength. We thank you that you are light. You are salvation. We thank you that you are our own. You are victory. You are healer. You are protection. Everything we want. Everything we desire. This after we thank you for life. We thank you for instructions of life. We thank you for your word. We thank for this hour. We thank for healing, deliverance, signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray also, Lord, for salvation of souls. Salvation of souls. We intercede for our brothers and sisters out there. We pray for salvation of souls. We intercede for our brothers and sisters out there. Those who do not know Jesus. We pray that the eyes of understanding will be enlightened. The eyes of understanding will be enlightened. That they will know the power of God. They will understand the working of His might. The power in the name of Jesus. They will understand. They have that wisdom. They have that knowledge. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That the eyes of every person upon the earth. The eyes of understanding will be open. Oh yes, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1. The Bible says... The eyes of understanding will be enlightened in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible says, verse 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom, a revelation, the knowledge of Him. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his saints. In the saints, what are the riches? I said that you may know that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe. According to the weapon of his mighty power. Beloved, pray. We want you to pray right now in the name of Jesus for salvation of souls. Pray for your neighbor. Pray for your brother out there. Pray for your man of God. Intercede for your for your siblings, your family. Intercede for the people that you see. Intercede for all people. Intercede for all men. Intercede. For your brother, your sister, that person on the road, pray for salvation of souls. Pray that the eyes of understanding will be enlightened. You'll know the hope of his calling. That Jesus is the light of this world. Jesus is our virtue. Father, we give you praise. We pray for salvation of souls. We pray that the eyes of every single person on this earth will be enlightened. You'll know the truth. They know the purpose of your calling, the working of your power. Do 
Christ I believe, the saints, in the name of Jesus Christ of the Son. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the adoration this hour. In Jesus' name. Plate, very, very small plate. Yeah. Beloved, we want to welcome you. If you don't know Jesus, I'm ready to lead you to Christ. Jesus is the light of this world. Jesus is the answer to every problem of this world. You need Jesus to fulfill your destiny. You need Jesus to have potential, full potential of life. You need Jesus to have peace. You need Jesus to understand everything that is happening. Without Jesus, beloved, you cannot succeed. Without Jesus, beloved, you will have emptiness. Without Jesus, you will be lacking. You cannot see the real joy, happiness, love. You will be missing out. You need Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. You need Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want to welcome somebody out there. I want to welcome you watching me to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Say this after me, Lord Jesus. Lord, I, accept Jesus you I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Beloved, say it after me, Lord Jesus. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me all my sins. Bless me for all unrighteousness. Bless me from my many sins and accept me as your Lord. Accept me as your child. Beloved, say it again. Accept me as your child. Accept me, Lord Jesus. For I open up my heart and I accept you as my Lord. Lord Jesus, bless me, wash me, purify me from all unrighteousness. The book of 1 John chapter 1 verse 8 and 9. The Bible says, if we confess our sins, it is faithful and justice to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So every sin the Father has committed, known and unknown, Father, forgive me. Cleanse me from them all. Lead me on the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Help me to walk in the integrity of the word of God. Help me to hold on to the truth. Help me to be a doer of the word of God. Help me to walk according to your presence. Help me to obey your commandments. Say in Jesus' name. Say in Jesus' name. Jesus. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that with the heart we believe unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So this very hour, as you have made your confession, beloved, you are a child of God. You are saved. It is simple. It is simple. Jesus is your Lord and Savior. As long as you have confessed in this hour that Jesus is your my Lord and Savior. The Bible says, whoever that calls upon his name shall be saved. And as you have done this this very afternoon, you are saved. For Jesus has become your salvation. Jesus has become your Lord and Savior. This very hour, the Bible says to me, Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 5, 17. If anyone is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. For the old things has passed away. Behold, you have become new. You have new identity in Christ. Beloved, you are not an ordinary person. You are a child of God. You have belonged to the family of Christ. You have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So this day, it's a new beginning. A new beginning with Christ. A new beginning as a child of God. Your life will never be the same. The Bible says the power of the righteous go from brighter to brighter. You, you, you will so high. As you hold on to the word of God, you will see great things. As you hold on to the word of God, you will increase. You will be a light on every avenue. The Lord will cause you to so high. The Lord will cause you to multiply. The Lord will cause you to be a blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, say Amen. Amen. Beloved, this is the word of God that we brought you. Jesus is coming against you. You and I, we must be ready. We must be prepared. Praise the Lord.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We trust that you have been blessed by the word of God. Praise the Lord. Your life will never be the same. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your life will never be the same. We want you to share the word of God for us. Share for us. Praise the Lord. We we'll try and come your way tonight again. We come on tonight with midnight prayers. Praise the Lord. I want you to join us. Join us. Praise the Lord. Your life will never be the same. The way forward is for you and I to hold on to our Lord. Hold on to the word of God and to be watchful. Praise the Lord. It means we have to be praying. We have to have a relationship with our God. We have to be seeking the face of God daily. And our lives will never be the same. I want to say God bless you for watching. God bless you for coming on. Please do share for us. Praise the Lord. Do share for us. Share to as many people that you can. Praise the Lord. This is the word of God. It is in simplicity. I'm a simple person. Praise the Lord. What I have is Jesus. And I bring to you Jesus. I have nothing to give to you than Jesus. What I have is what I've given to you. Praise the Lord. And if you hold on to it, your life will never be the same. Our God is a God of power. Our God is a God of signs and wonders. And God is simple. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our God is a simple God. And that if you and I will truly hold on to the word of God, our lives will never be the same. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We shall be healed. We shall be fortified. Praise the Lord. God will bless us. God will take care of us. God will protect us. God will be our light and our salvation. Praise the Lord. So hold on to God. Hold on to the word of God. Hold on to Jesus. For he can build you up. He can change your story. He can make you a sign and a wonder. Praise the Lord. With God, all things are possible. There's nothing impossible with God. I want to urge you to hold on to Jesus. He is the light of this world. If you and I, I am holding on to Jesus. So hold on to Jesus. Your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. God bless you for watching. God bless you. God bless you for coming on. God bless you. Do like it for us. Share for us. Praise the Lord. Invite others to join me. Praise the Lord. This is a good platform of signs and wonders. We are here because God has made it possible. Praise the Lord. I'm not here with my own accord. Praise the Lord. Man will reject me. Praise the Lord. But with God, beloved, hallelujah, he takes them. They're rejected. He takes the one that nobody likes, the one that does not have family. And God will build you up. God will cause you to have family. God will prosper you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please press the finish for me. Look very carefully. Do you see the finish? So press finish for me. God bless you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Press it. <laughs>